Well, we're coming back with some more Reading news. It's that time of the year where everything starts to come out at once. We've got some new names. Uh, the alternative stage has now been announced, uh, headed up by Simon Anstor, Catherine Ryan, and Joel Domit. Uh, also, with support from Celia Knapp at Reading Only, Chris Washington, Diane Baptiste, Danny McLaughlin, playing Leeds Only, Elliot Steele, Helen Bauer, Jenny Collier, uh, Laura Smith, Lauren Patterson, Lloyd Griffith, Luke Wright, Milton Jones. Brilliant. Love Milton Jones. Years ago, of course, I used to supply filer faxes for the Mafia. Yeah, I was involved in very organised crime. <laughs> Nathan Catton, Reginald D. Hunter. Love Reginald D. Hunter. About three years ago, I split up with my last girlfriend, and we split up roughly around the time she fucked somebody else. And... <laughs> Rhea Lena at uh, Reading Only, Russell Hicks, Scott Bennett, Tiff Stevenson, Youth Climate Coalition. We've also got the Comedy Store presents Thomas Green at Reading, Sarah Keyworth at Reading, Paul McCaffrey at Reading, Tez Eilers at Reading, Lou Conran at Leeds, Emmanuel Sonubi at Leeds, Mike Newell at Leeds, and Tom State at Leeds, as well as Button Down Disco at, at Reading and Disco Shed in Leeds. Also have the transgressive late night takeover in Leeds. You have Squid doing a set. That's really cool and a real shame that they're not coming to, to Reading. I'm a big fan of Squid. Uh, Flo, Hio also playing Leeds. Inhaler are doing a DJ set at Reading. That's great. Let's Eat Grandma are doing a DJ set at Reading. That's also great. Jack Saunders is doing a DJ set at Reading. Cool. Nova Twins are doing a DJ set at Reading. That's really cool. Emily Pillbeam playing Leeds, as well as Martin Too Smooth and Jess Izzat is playing Reading, as well as Bless. And the transgressive sound system is looking like it's playing both. It looks to it looks like the map's just been released. So we've got the main stage west, which is the original main stage in the same place as it would be. Directly opposite that, where the fairground would normally be, is main stage east, the new second main stage. Uh, so, so the arena actually looks like it's about 50% smaller this year. That whole corner where the uh, Radio 1 stage usually is, is not there. So uh, a, bit of, a bit of a shocker, a bit sad, but it is what it is. The alternative stage is looking like it's much, much, much smaller, and that's currently sat where normally the Radio 1 Extra stage would be. The new Radio 1 Extra stage has moved over to where the pit was. Is that right? Yes, where the pit was is where the Radio 1 stage, uh, 1 Extra stage now is. And the Festival Republic pit and lockup stage is where the Festival Republic stage used to be over in that corner just next to the main stage with all of the food and so on and so forth. The biggest update is that the Radio 1 Dance stage has moved over to where the alternative stage used to be and it's much bigger by the looks of things so yeah we've genuinely like lost out on a couple of stages it's all moved around to be over there uh, same sound of stuff co-ops back this year it's in orange camp that's absolutely brilliant but the arena is much much smaller it's going to be really interesting to see what this looks like once when we actually like, get into the arena because i have my sweet spots i have my ways of navigating around that arena nice and quickly to go and see different stuff number one there's not as many acts to go see this year so that's not going to be needed but also it's all in different places so i'm going to have to rework all that out again fun still Still no um, confirmation on some of the other parts there. We've got uh, some secret sets already announced. Water Parks, who I believe we've done a WTF episode for. We have indeed, bloody hell. I'm a natural blue. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, Water Parks to me aren't the band that I'd be excited to see. Um, that's not a big one for me, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. It's just not something I'm that excited for. Water Parks have leaked that they are playing both Reading and Leeds as a secret performance of Saturday at Reading, Sunday at Leeds. So that still keeps that Friday secret set nice and wide open. And it also looks like there's strong rumors of Ollie Sykes coming out uh, during Youngblood set as well, which could be really, really cool. Sad thing, it looks like MGK might be pulling out for fans of MGK. I mean, I'm not going to pretend to be a fan of MGK. I f***ing hate the guy. My bloody Valentine's a banging record, I'm not going to lie. But I cannot stand the man. But my buddy Cam, who's coming with me, he's a big fan. and He's, he's going to be gutted to, um, for that cancellation. I hope it's not true. It is still rumours at this point. It's nothing confirmed. But there seems to be quite a lot floating around interwebs to suggest that him and his crew cannot get over. Last little bit of housekeeping. Um, I was going to do a whole thing about how to transfer your ticket, but that's already closed now, so get a ticket master and transfer your ticket. Biffy uh, video is up now. By far my most proud WTF episode I've ever made. Uh, go check that out. I really love it. I've also just done a video about the five Friday acts I'm excited to see the most. We'll also get Saturday and Sunday at videos out this weekend, as well as hopefully some more WTF episodes in the way. And if you want to go check out all of the WTF episodes from artists playing this year, you can follow the link in the description to the part of my website 
where I've just got it nice and filtered for you. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about all of this secret sets, map being released, MGK cancelling, new videos I've been putting out. Love the conversation. I am really looking forward to this year's festival. I'm super excited. I hope you can tell. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.